Hey everybody, <laughs> we had some a uh, few people on Twitter uh, send us some messages, ask us some kind of a holiday questions because we do a lot of holiday videos around this time. So we thought that it would be fun to do another get to know you video, similar to the get to know you tag video we did, except no one actually tagged us. And there are no questions for this particular type of video. So I've got 15 holiday related questions that we're going to answer for you. So just like last time, I'm going to ask, I've got the questions, <clears throat> and I'm going to ask Sarah the questions. She does not know what they are. So she's going to be answering, hopefully better than she did in the last one, <laughs> off the cuff uh, answers to these holiday questions. So here we go. Number one, and like and this will, will, like the last one, will kind of start out easy and, and build into something a bit more complex. So number one. Do you prefer wrapping paper or gift bags? Wrapping paper. <laughs> I do too. Gift bags you can't shake. And if you squeeze a gift bag, you know what it is, you know? And yeah, you can't shake it. It takes all the fun out of it. And you can make the presents prettier by wrapping. My mother is the Martha Stewart of wrapping Christmas presents. So, I got that from her. <laughs> okay. I know the answer to this one too. Real tree or artificial? Real tree. We've had a real tree not very many times through our <laughs> marriage for one reason or another, but I prefer a real tree. Not this we have a fake tree artificial currently. garbage in the corner. Um, and fun, real quick story. One year, my dad and I ran out to get the real tree, bring it home and set it up while Sarah was at work, so we were going to surprise her. You were somewhere and you were coming back. <laughs> And we ran out and got a tree, and my well, dad and, and I... we had 10-foot ceilings, and so we, yeah. Jacob decided... I <laughs> said so I was going to get the tree. A 9-foot tree is fine. We pulled it out, we were looking at it, and like, man, yeah, it, it lows wherever we went to get the tree. We are like, this looks good. This is a good-looking tree. We brought it home, and it was like a foot too tall, it was and it was huge. <laughs> that hit, that, so that year, we set that tree up in the place that it usually went, which was kind of near the front door. We had door. to move furniture. And we had to walk around it, it when you came so in the house. Big. It was awesome. It was beautiful. It was, a, it was, the, it was a good good holiday. <laughs> so, a lot of sap. A lot of sap in here. <laughs> so, uh, all right, question number three, somewhat related. When do you, or I guess I, put up the tree? Oh, I prefer to do it right after Halloween. <laughs> we're, we're a November 1st. Skip right over Jacob wants to, used to wait until, I think, Thanksgiving Day he used to do it. But I was like, no, I want it up sooner. Sarah's, Sarah's a big... It's kind of funny. She was, when we started, we first got together. I was the one that's like, all right, every holiday gets its time period, you know. And I know a lot of people out there that agree, you know, every holiday gets its time period, and that was Thanksgiving. And then as soon as Thanksgiving Day, you could put the tree up. But since Sarah and I start, when we started dating, she kind of started to work me out of that. <laughs> and <laughs> then here more recently. I have been the driving force behind. Oh, it's time to decorate. We got it's this holiday. We got to get this stuff up. Let's do it. Sarah's like, I just tell me when it's time. <laughs> so that's kind of where we are now. All right. Question number four. Actually, yeah, number four. My numbers are out of order, so I may say question number nine. It is actually question six. So okay. the next question: When do you take the tree down? Oh, I don't care when we take it down. You take it down on January 1st <laughs> or 2nd. That whatever, whatever day we have off of work is when he would take it down. That's why the good Lord gave us that day off of work. <laughs> and the holiday's over. You take it down. Because to me, any after the holiday, it's just a reminder that the holiday's over. So, growing up, it was always you get it down before Mardi Gras, which is Fat Tuesday, which is... 40 days before Easter? Is that the right? You're the, the <laughs> semi-Catholic. <laughs> anyway, we usually take it out about Mardi Gras. In my house, it was, as long as it got, I, my, my birthday's in February, at the end of February. So in my house growing up, it was always, the tree's got to get down before Jacob's birthday. 
because people are going to come over for Jamie's birthday. And that was part of getting the house ready for my birthday party. So, growing up, it could have been anywhere between January 1st. Oh, his birthday falls around Mardi Gras, too, sometimes. February 24th. So, so. You just put your personal I know. information And now they know. It. And y'all know my name, so look me up on my Amazon list and send me presents. <laughs> All right, next question. What was your favorite gift received as a child? Oh, when I got my bike. And it was funny because we have a, a lot of land growing up, but no like concrete to ride the bike on, so I never really got to ride it. But I was so excited to get it that year. Santa brought my sister and I a fort one year. We got it was you know it was one of those jungle gym type. It was wood, and you know you had to think at the top and a ladder going up to it. And oh, a an swing. outdoor thing. I was thinking. Yeah, no, it was an outdoor thing. Okay. Santa, Santa brought that for us one year, and I mean, we got our money's worth out of that thing. <clears throat> and we, you know, we grew up out kind of out in the country, so we played on that thing every single day. It was fun. <laughs> Loved that thing. All right. So, hardest person to buy for. I know, that was an easy one. That's an easy one. Sorry. Char dog our dog, Charlie, just got into the into the Christmas spirit. Hardest person to buy for your mom. Really? Yes. Okay. What were you going to say? Your dad. Yeah. <laughs> My dad is the, he buys it for himself. And then anything you give him, he's like, why? So. Yeah. <laughs> got your new car, Gerald. Why? I don't need a new car. No, your mom's not hard to buy for. No, I don't think so. No, you're right. Never mind. Okay. Next question. Easiest person to buy for? His sister, Hannah. Every time we go anywhere, I'm like, oh, Hannah would love this. She's the easiest person to buy for. It's, uh, I can't <clears throat> I can't really think of an easiest person to buy for. Because I, I, I don't know. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Can I say Gabriel? Yeah, sure, because <laughs> he's been in our life for all 11 months. I think our baby is the easiest person by far. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, every every year I always kind of wonder who, who needs what. I guess, yeah, my sister and my brother-in-law kind of, they're real good about putt making lists and keeping the Amazon list updated. I don't even so, have to do that. I just always well, know, when I see something, I know she would love it or it'd be perfect for her. I don't have that gift. <laughs> so I go to the list. It's well maintained. So, we agree. Hannah, my sister. All right, number, I don't know, the next question. Like I said, my questions are way out of order. <laughs> this one's easy. For me, worst Christmas gift you ever received? <laughs> me? Yep. I don't think any gift is a bad gift. I got one. Right. Oh, well, probably um, certain clothing items that I would probably never wear, but it was the thought that counts. It was sweet that the person got it for me, but it was not my style. So we can we can joke about this now <laughs> because it, oh, my geez. mother. No, 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 no. The denim shirt. <laughs> Sarah. That is why you bought. Let me make him wear a denim shirt. Sarah's determined to get me into a denim shirt. so good in denim So shirt. I was younger. I guess I was in college or, or late high school, some around that, that age. And my mom gave me a denim button-down shirt. And I opened that present, looked at it, and went, Oh, thanks. And my mom immediately said, well, that was a fail. <laughs> and we joke about the denim shirt now because that was the only time I think that I've had a not done well at covering up my pure disappointment. That was the only time. <laughs> All right, next question. So don't don't get me a denim shirt. Sarah's trying. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Favorite Christmas movie. Um. I really enjoy why I can't just blank on the name. Give me a line from it. Scrooge, Ben Marley, The Christmas Carol. Oh, Marley? 
You just called him Ben Marley on a video going on the internet. <gasps> it's what? Bob Marley, not, <laughs> not Ben. Bob Marley is the Jamaican singer. What? Bob Marley? <laughs> it was not Ben Marley, I know that. Everything is gonna be. <laughs> Jacob Marley. It's Jacob Marley. Christmas Carol. I really enjoy <laughs> Christmas Carol. Something like morbid and depressing about it, but I really like to watch it. The Jim Carrey one is downright scary. It is terrifying. I do Which not I think like is that. how they wanted it. Probably it Muppet Christmas accurate. Carol is probably a favorite. I really enjoy Christmas Carol. The Jamaican version with Bob Marley <laughs> instead of Jacob. Marley. You said Bob Marley. I know. You called him Ben. <laughs> ben and Bob. <laughs> Jamaican Christmas Carol. Mon, way down by the beach. All right. <laughs> I, oh, I forgot about the other one that you're probably going to say. Christmas Vacation. Yeah, that's of course that's our favorite. Christmas Vacation. If you're man. really smart, not smart, that was bad. If you're really quick, you'll notice all the Christmas Vacation quotes we say the entire oh, we Christmas slip season. Them in all of, there's already been one in this video. <laughs> all the time. My parents have uh, Wally World loose egg dog mugs that we gave them. <laughs> Christmas Vacation, man. All right. What is your favorite thing to eat at Christmas? Um, eggnog. I guess you eat eggnog. It is kind of thick. It is my favorite holiday treat. I... The desserts. Can I say all the desserts? Because yeah, we'll I, I like to candy. make... I like to bake desserts and make candy and stuff. Fudge. And there's some things that I like restrict myself from making the rest of the year because to me it's a Christmas time snack. So I don't make it like gingerbread cookies. I love gingerbread cookies. Sarah doesn't. We don't have them except for around Christmas time. And Sarah doesn't like them, so I get to eat them all. So I like the treats. Next question. Clear lights or colored lights clear. on the tree or in your decorating? Clear. I like both. I'm a more lights the better. You got lights? Put them somewhere. There should be no no lights left in the garage or in the attic. <laughs> if you've got a Christmas light, you put it on the house. You put it in the yard. I'm disappointed. Or I'll be disappointed. But we have colored lights all over the house right now. <laughs> okay. I guess I won that one. I don't know. Alright, next question. Favorite Christmas song? Um, the instrumental version that we like. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Sleigh ride. Let's go sleigh ride. Played by Boston Pops, right? That's the one we like. I think so, yeah. That one. I would kind of any instrumental version of that song. Sleigh ride's a good one. Andy Williams has a, a kind of a, a 70s, what am I thinking? Price is Right kind of version yes. of it. It's oh, funny. That's right. <laughs> it's funny. But, yeah. Early Price is Right. <laughs> so we like the same one. The Sleigh Ride. Sleigh Ride. Instrumental Sleigh Ride. We do not like the U2 Guilt Trip. There won't be snow in Africa this Christmas. Stop playing that song, radio stations. It's, why would you play that at Christmas? Oh, God. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No. I do know that it's Donder and not Donner. Did you know that? Right. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donder, Blitzen. Blitzen. And the most I famous do reindeer. Recall. <laughs> the most famous reindeer. Bum, bum, bum. Rudolph. I don't think she knew. That's why she didn't sing. That's it. Okay, do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Well, All right, now, let's start with growing up and then we'll explain now. Growing up, we got to open one present on Christmas Eve night. And we got to pick what it was and then all the rest of it on Christmas morning. So we, we did Christmas morning. Growing up, it was always Christmas morning. And then um, Christmas... But, Later in years, it, we got one present on Christmas Eve, and it was always pajama pants. So we all had the same pajama pants Christmas morning. That's cute. 
now because we split the holidays between our families in Louisiana. We spend Christmas Eve with my family and then Christmas morning, early, 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 we drive down and then hey, spend it with Jacob's family. So we all put them on both now. Yep. So we do Christmas Eve with her family. Now, okay, sub question to this question. Mm, I know where you're going with that. Do you take turns or is there chaos in your house at so, Christmas present opening time? We used to, back in the day, go to my grandparents' house for Christmas. All the families would. And so Christmas morning, of course, you'd look at what Santa brought you. And then everyone in the living room would just open all their presents because there's a whole bunch of people. The very first Christmas I spent with Jacob, they pass out the presents. Everyone has their pile of presents. They're like, all right, let's go. And so I just start opening presents <laughs> and they all turn and they look at me because we take turns. They open them one by one and watch each other open them because they have a small family. But I didn't know that. It would take all day if her family did that because <laughs> there's so many people. But our family is small. So, I mean, it, it takes like an hour, you know? <laughs> But yeah, I didn't know that the first time, first go around. Felt really foolish. <laughs> everybody gets everybody gets their t their time and <laughs> okay. What is <clears throat> one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Favorite Christmas traditions. Well, I think I have a couple from different time periods in my life. Um, I really enjoyed doing the Christmas parades back home because I would perform in them and so that was always fun and because you're in Louisiana you never know if it's going to be cold or hot when you do it <laughs> so I can remember very hot Christmas parades and then very cold Christmas parades I enjoyed that um, since I've been with Jacob I think I enjoy decorating the tree with him because we always watch Christmas vacation we didn't do that this year we didn't do that this year we filmed it for YouTube instead. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> I also uh, really enjoy going to see the Nutcracker. That's not we been a that. consistent tradition, but done it multiple times. So, <clears throat> in in Louisiana, there's a, a, a smaller town similar to Grapevine, Texas, which was where the, the last weekend video. Uh, it'll be right there where the last weekend video took place uh, where they decorate for Christmas and the whole town gets into it and they put all kinds of stuff well in Louisiana there's a similar town called um, Natchitoches and they they have a front this front street where they have storefronts and everything brick it's a brick road old old school very historic and it's right on Cane River so on the, on the bank of the river or the levee they put all these big Christmas light things all the way down the river. It's really, really cool. And um, if we go this year, I'll try to film it and post it. But uh, every year, my family would go. We would drive up there, look at all the lights, get a funnel cake and hot chocolate, look at all the store windows. Because all the stores do these big Christmas displays. It's like Christmas is what Natchitoches exists for. <laughs> and so they always just do a really big, beautiful job. Fun fact, Natchitoches is where they filmed Steel Magnolias. Yeah, if you've seen Steel Magnolias, it was filmed there. So we, uh, my family always went, every single year we went. And even now, we uh, try to, uh, even though we're kind of, we're all married and spread out, we kind of try to work it in. My parents get to go like three or four times a year. Because anytime somebody comes in town, I'm like, all right, what night are we going to Natchitoches? And my dad's like, well, I went last weekend, and the weekend before that. Well, we can go this weekend. So that was that was that was probably my favorite my favorite holiday tradition. Second fun fact it was our first date. We started dating was. in December. Insert December. pictures of baby Jacob and Sarah <laughs> on our first date. December tenth. Right? No, that wasn't the date. That wasn't the day of the date. Mm -hmm. We started, we made it Facebook official on December 10th. Facebook official. What a wonderful time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, last question. What do you love the most about this time of year? It's so pretty. 
I love Christmas decorations. I love the lights. It's always a little sad and depressing when you take down your Christmas tree and your lights. Your house just seems dark and sad. So I think I really enjoy all the decorations. I'm in a similar similar vein. I like outdoor. I like to w drive around and look at everybody's outdoor Christmas lights and I like the fact that the people behind us decorate and the way that our back window is I can see the people that live right there and then the people that are across the street from them you can see their lights so we have some lights in the backyard because of course I do so you look out the kitchen window and you can see our lights and then their lights and the lights beyond that so sometimes at night I like to go outside and take deep breaths breathe in the re the cold winter air it has a smell it's like it just has a different smell than the rest of the year so I just go out and I and I look and I just kind of take it in and it's I like the I like the lights outside and it's always depressing you drive down the streets where nobody decorates so there's just one person it's like man you know you kind of want to decorate for the rest of the people just so that it's just a cheerful magic time so I like the I like the lights that's all the questions. So I hope you enjoyed getting to know us, holiday edition. <laughs> uh, you know, if if you want to do this, uh, send me a message. I'll let you know what questions we used, uh, or I'll just maybe put them in the description. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to see more. And click the bell so you get the notifications. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Answer one of the questions. Tell us what your favorite part of Christmas or the holiday season is. So, thank you for watching. And uh, here's a couple pictures of Gabriel with Santa Claus in case you missed him from the last video as a reward for making it through this one. Oh, I forgot to put a disclaimer at the beginning that said there would be no Gabriel. Sorry, Mom. <laughs>